Hello there, everybody. It's Chuck again, a culture cowboy. Got my notes here, what I'm supposed to say. Got a little thing here. We're outside the store, the traffic's kind of loud, so I'm gonna talk a little bit loud. And I got not much like little cat on top of that microphone to keep the road noise down. But I wanna talk to you today about some real life stuff in the store. A lot of times people say, what's on sale? Let me tell you, stores buy things to have on sale. We don't just magically take something and mark it down unless you wouldn't want it anyway. We try real hard at Culture Cowboy to have a good, fair price. And if you compare us on our other internet friends and whatnot, you'll find this very true. So anyways, today I want to talk a little bit about R. Watts Boot Company. Now, Mr. Watson's got his own video out there, and he talks about how he was past CEO, president, whatever he was, with Justin Industries. Well, now he's got his own boot company. And he's doing a few things that some of the older customers, like myself, kind of got used to from the 90s and maybe the 80s and certainly early 2000, 2010. We know that you can find square toe boots anywhere. And I got square toe boots out the yin yang inside the store. But Mr. Watts is making a few round toes again, and that's pretty cool. Case in point, round two. So anyways, we're gonna forget the paper. We're gonna get this little thing out the way. This is a nice boot. And the boot can sell for well under $200. It's like right now, $189.99, and we might could be talking into a free pair of polo socks with that if you mention this when you call the store and order some. I don't know if she can get real close in here or not. See if you can get a close-up inside that way. I'm trying to point out is inside the shaft is an extra piece of heel material. And if I get a little closer on the outside, you can see where it's all stitched up through here. And let me tell you why that's important. We've had other brands that we just are not selling in the store because of problems with the liner crushing down and tearing under your feet. Now, if you've bought some of these things at certain places, work stores, etc., you know that that lining is bad to crumple under your foot. Not with this puppy. He's got that extra heel pad in there to make it easy in, easy out, not gonna mess up on you. It adds strength, and that's worth a lot. This boot is also waterproof. I like that. In the fall time of year, there's still plenty of dew on the ground, lots of things going on. If you're working cows or horses, waterproof type leathers just resist the barnyard acids better than others do. Now, my friend over here, so I said, it ain't like your eyes show, but the sun's all in here. Anybody been a kid and he had to take his family picture looking at the sun? All you could do is like squint. Ah! That's the best advantage of a cowboy work at. You don't have to do that stuff. Back to the boots. So we're waterproof. We've got a good leather up and down. We are lined all the way to the toe. Take a look at this sole. This sole's been engineered for somebody who wants traction but doesn't want to track everything from outside into the inside. We're sitting here on a sandy soil. Bam! 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 Mama, you're going to appreciate when that man comes home wearing these boots. And he's going to appreciate feeling so good for working all day and not being tired. You're going to get a big kiss together. This is a good model slip on. Comes all the way to a 15. That means it fits the larger guys who are actually out there working. Same boot. Lace-up model. Waterproof again. Same sole. It'll give you traction without tracking so much. These things have got the R Watson cushion inside. We get rid of that paper. And if I can untie this knot in a reasonable manner. All right. Was that a reasonable manner? Uh oh. Got one more secret inside. All right. So inside this boot, too, you'll see this heel counter comes up high. So many of the other brands, major brands, I'm sorry, their little heel counter comes like maybe an inch high. The challenge with that is, when it gets wet or damp, 
it wants to break over the outside of the boot because there's nothing here to hold you. And also, this taller heel counter will also help you from tearing out the inside liner of the boot. Again, waterproof. He has actually cushion insoles come in and out. If you need more insoles, if your feet are sweaty, we got you covered there too. It's a nice boot, eight inch lacer boot. Again, round in the toe for you guys who like the round toe. And bonus, 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 the same two boots come with a wide square toe as well. So whichever's more comfortable for you, choose. Of course, the cowboy, we cheat a little bit. We carry it all. We appreciate you so much for your time today. I hope you'll get a chance to come by. Again, well under $200 for either your choice of boots or what's a boot company. We like what he's doing. It's not going to be the best work boots you ever got in your life. It's certainly not the worst boot you ever got in your life, but it's a great boot for the price. For when you need a work boot, that will take you where you need to go. Y'all come see Culture Cowboy, 72 Bypass in Greenwood, or online, culturecowboy.com. You know we appreciate you. And if you're kind of local, we actually have a contest where we're giving away some tickets to a Cowboy Jamboree that's coming up. We'll have more video on that probably sometime later this week. Have a great one.